Hey, what's the deal, man? You know what I got an issue with. Man. Who is who else you got on the show? Oh, we got Dre Ryan. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't think I ever met that brother. But you know what my issue is, right? So I feel like, you know, a lot of us grew up on Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, some of us were influenced by Cassidy's style. You know what I mean? And the whole nine. But, you know, I don't feel like I don't feel like he was never, how I say it, man, like, the nigga, it's not like he's making a return to something. The nigga never did smack battles. Like, you know, we, we it's one thing that he influenced a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, you could say influenced that battle rap style, you know what I mean, some people and shit. But, like, this was, this was like a smack debut in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, you went from freeway to disaster, like, it was, it's not like he just put in all kind of crazy battle work. Like, we know him from a commercial success. We know him from having bars. You know what I mean? We know him from being that nigga at a time. You know what I'm saying? But we don't know him from battling like that. Not not on no smack level. Maybe studio battles, maybe street battles. But, like, a stage with, like, a thousand motherfuckers in front of you on pay-per-view, like, rap battle, we got Cassidy never proved that that's his lane. He never proved that. He had a dope style that maybe could, could translate to it. Influence a lot of people that do it, but that nigga never made no, never proved that that that's what he does. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of that's where the mistake came in to a, how a lot of people are perceiving it. Not you specifically, but like a lot of people, I feel like perceive it like, oh, he's the goat, you know, blah blah blah. And I'm like, nigga, how? You really think about it in battle rap? All that five thousand one. Well, how many of them five thousand ones you seen? You seen two of them. Like you, that, that's it's not. It's not realistic, you know what I'm saying? That's why I had good coming in, you know what I'm saying? Because the nigga never hit smack and really proved he's one of them niggas to be just getting that kind of recognition. No, I definitely I hear I hear you on that, man. And even now, it's it's kind of tough to even like try to put up a a good argument because of what Cassidy went out there and did, but. You know, for me, man, I, I'm one of the people, bro, who Cassidy to me, and I think this is just how it went for me. Big L was the first person I've seen with the punchlines where it was like he made it like a mainstay, like he put emphasis on it. You know what I'm saying? Then Cassidy came around, he upgraded yeah, it, Big took L, it to the next Big level. L, you have people I'd like agree. Conceited. Big L, Big L style was definitely what would become the punchline style in, in, the, in the near future. Yeah, so it's like for me, man, just coming up like that, I was always a fan of those styles and everything. And one thing I will say as it pertains to Cassidy, I think his impact is still there. I think even with this loss to Goods being clear, I think this this will go against his record. You know what I'm saying? But as far as his impact on the culture, I think he's solidified. I just feel like he needs – he needed to get punched in his mouth, so to speak, to understand this is not the same shit that you're accustomed to in the past. Although you got away with it versus disaster, disaster wasn't necessarily on his A game to really exploit you the way that disaster normally could exploit somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I would want to see him just get back to the drawing board, get back in the lab, and just not even – change your style because you're an original. Just upgrade your material. Update it. Start really paying attention to what's being said and how people are forming metaphors, similes, how people are forming punchlines and wordplay. Just start really paying attention and start really gauging yourself and seeing if you're capable of putting in that kind of attention to detail to become better. I think he is. I just feel like this is the kind of battle he needed to have happen so now he understands, like, it's not a game. Like, there's people out here who are doing this shit day in, day out, who really breathe this, and they're not playing. And the stuff that they're coming up with, you know what I'm saying, it's getting crazier by the event. And you always got to be ready to innovate and always got to be ready to do more. So, you know what I'm saying, hopefully he can come back from this. I think he could. I think he will. But it's going to take him to really – put the ego to the side and just, okay, let me learn from this for real. 
Yeah, I don't think it impacts his, his, his legacy or his influence and all of that. That's intact. But when he gets to talking that I'm the best battle rapper shit, you look real beatable in that motherfucking ring. You know what I'm saying? Like the first time we really seen you on Smack and that, and that you know, you said you started it. You was, you know, you're the whole reason and everything. You get roughed up. Like, I don't know. I don't think you would have been ready for a loaded Lux or a murder Mook. Or a, if Goods could beat you like that, bro, Mook would have, Mook would be, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't, I don't think, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you can't take away from Cassidy's influence and all that other good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, yeah. I'm still trying to think of it now, man. Like, and I was just saying this earlier, I feel like that we need more of this. Like, I feel like this whole Cassidy experiment, I know a lot of people are going to just focus on a win or a loss, but I think for the culture, this is a major win. There's fans who probably never watched Chef Trez or Briz or, you know, say any of these people probably weren't even really battle rap fans who got chance to see Shotgun Suge you know what I'm saying, getting his performance, you know what I'm saying? They got to see different people, you know what I'm saying, really work and cook out. So for me, man, I feel like that was a major look. We had some, we had West Coast representation on the card. Like, I think it was a dope look all the way around for Battle Rap, that event. And, you know, as far as Cassie is concerned, man, just get back to the drawing board. You got to, you know, all it is, is man, is like, you got to be able to separate. That's like what we were saying, like the, the fact that you influence a lot of people, that you are, you know, that style that you bring that a lot of people grew up on and like, you know, flipped and remixed in their own way. And you got to separate that from the competitive nature of like, you know, everyone should, everyone's going to think that they're, they're the best, you know, and, and in some sense, I think that they're really good, but he got to take a step back and be like, yo, maybe I'm all, there is room for me to still grow. Like, I'm not just already to the point that's, like, the ultimate unbeatable motherfucker. Like, yo, I still have some growing to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's and it's, and it's like that, you know? And it's not always everybody ain't the same. Like, maybe you not have, you don't have to grow. You know how to rap. So it's not like you learn how to rap. It's, you know, that, you know, you used to performing on a stage. See, I look at it like this, and I don't know if this is true, but I'm just trying to make correlations, right? So I'm watching it. I'm like, he looks like a, you know, he's a big artist. Similar like Joe Budden, you know what I mean? But Cassidy will fuck Joe Budden up. But, like, these are dudes who are used to performing music in front of crowds that came specifically to see them. And that, that the crowds already like the content that they're performing. They get up there in a, in, a, in a position where the crowds are critical, like, what have you done for me lately type of crowd. It's like, yeah, we know this and that and this and that, but battle rap crowd is like, what have you done lately type of crowd. Like, what are you doing now? Facts. You know what I mean? It's like, they, they, they came to see you, yeah. But it's not because you're about to perform the song that we all love. We want to, we're here to see what you, you know, what you do. And then, like, you know, and and so, yeah, it's like the crowd, you don't just got, un, you don't got the crowd unwavering. I don't think anyone unwaveringly has the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And that's one, that's a big thing that I think, was working against him in the biggest sense because when it came to the second round, second round comes and he gets a stumbling over his bars and the crowd gets to heckling him. And then he's like, man, come on, smack. They booing the best shit in the world. Like, come on, smack, go ahead. You know, and it's like, you let it get to you because I felt like I could be wrong. You used to perform it in front of a big group of people who were never going to boo you. Like they love everything you're doing. They're fans. You know what I'm saying? And these are battle rap fans. They like they might be Cassidy fans also, but this ain't a Cassidy show. This is a battle event. You know what I mean? Nah, that's real. That's real talk, man. I think for one, man, I think, and this is the second time this has happened. When y'all get booed, like I want to say, industry rappers, but people who are coming into battle rap, when y'all get booed. Don't start turning to the host or somebody else to start complaining about what's going on. Like, oh, they booing the best shit in the world. They don't start complaining. Just, 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 just don't complain. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's not, it's not worth it because it's gonna be a bad look on camera. Like, yeah, it looks bad. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Because if you would have just rapped through it, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been that kind of reaction, even if your material is still your material. But you don't react like that. It's the visual. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what dudes like Goods have over somebody like Cassidy. They've been through, like, Goods went through that early on. Like, everybody goes through that, man. Everybody has to take that loss. You know what I'm saying? Normally, they take it early in their career. They kind of understand, okay, look, this wasn't working. This was working. Okay, this is how the crowd responds to this. Everybody goes through it, you know what I'm saying, at least once. And that's what either builds your character and you're able to excel or it's the type of shit that could just make you crumble and you'll never be able to reach your full potential. So I think that he could definitely do good still. You know, he just got to really want to, like, improve. I think we got to acknowledge that Cassidy's still young. And his, so when I say what I'm what I'm taught, I just want to clarify before someone like chop, bites my head off and shit, right? I'm not saying Cassidy's new to rap to rap battling. I'm saying he's new to battle rap. You know what I'm saying? And in the in that format, you know what I'm saying? So like that's a rookie mistake for the crowd to not be feeling you, and then you react to the crowd and like you you just dug yourself further. That's where the good quote comes from. Look at him; he's emotional. You know what I'm saying? Like. The crowd not feeling it, and then you start – now the whole room's hating. Just a round ago, they were gassing everything you said. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he, he, he's a hell – he's known to rap battle, but he's new to that battle rap platform. Like, nigga, I'm telling you, they had to put a Geechee Gotti in front of him. He got fucking 30 balls, dirtily, like, super, like – I don't know if it had been clean or dirty, but it had been a fucking 30 piece. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, like he he made a, he did a rookie mistake, man, and and like toward the third round, you know, he caught on and he was like, you know, he's not even looking at me, so you know, I'm gonna just perform for y'all, and he started interacting more with the crowd, and I think like that was a good move for him, you know what I'm saying? But he did it out of spite, like you know what I mean? Like, bro, Goods understands yeah. that he's entertaining a bunch of people, he's entertaining cameras and whatnot. Like, see that the way I personally look at battles, bro, is like there's different ways to win, right? Like, cause the crowd reactions don't always mean you won and shit. It depends what you're looking for. You could be the more the more lyrical dude. You won on the lyric side. You could be the dude who won in the building. You know what I'm saying? You could be the dude who lost in the building but won on footage. You know what I'm saying? So it's like different wins that you could get. It just depends who's judging and what they're looking for. Or ultimately, did you get the win you were looking for? You know what I'm saying? And you know, Cassidy came to just, like, rap. Like, it was, like, maybe on some small room shit, Cassidy would be, like, you know, that would have been a way better battle. But, you know, that big stage shit, I, like, that's good shit. He's not trying to, Goods wasn't trying to run Cassidy's race. You know what I'm saying? And he just, he just outclassed him, man. Outclassed yeah, I think him. it's, I think it should have, uh, what I think it is, man, and I, I definitely feel like, um, he would be, he would have been better in a small room environment, but th- this is like the thing I, I would like to say. Like, and I know it's tough to do, but when we having people like this come back, they automatically just throw them to the big stage. Oh, we you know what I'm saying because you wanna you wanna get the most fans in there. Obviously, the, the business side of the game it makes more sense. But I think when some of these dudes come back, man, you should put them in a closed room environment. Let them go ahead and see what they can do in that kind of environment and then build up to the big stage because there's a clear difference between performance songs where everybody knows the hot hook. Everybody knows what the the dope line was in the song. So they just wait. You know what I'm saying? They singing along with you versus you're creating something that nobody has heard before and you're trying to get it across to people who have different preferences. Yeah, it's like yeah. It, it's a completely different atmosphere. And I think Cassidy learned that yesterday. Like, just because you can perform well at a show doesn't mean that in battle rap that's the same thing. I done seen the best performers come into battle rap, and they just they can't cut it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and you know, like when you having a show, man, they come in to sing along. They come in to enjoy your music and shit. When you're having a battle, man, they come in to critique. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're coming to be impressed and critique, and half the crowd is your peers. You know, I saw a picture, and it was it was Surf and the Hitman, and all these dudes were all in the crowd. And like, you know what I'm saying? These are people judging you. I saw Surf say it was a dirty 30. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Like, we know you, and we were influenced by you and all that, but one of these niggas would knock your head off, man. You know what I'm saying? 